uh, as to what are those EMEA related issues. Now, first of all, I'll start with evacuation of foreign nationals from India to various parts of, of the world on the request of foreign governments. So far, we have successfully evacuated, as of yesterday, 20,000 and 473 foreign nationals have been evacuated. And this involves several countries. This is an ongoing process. 20,473 foreign nationals have been evacuated as of yesterday. And this is an ongoing process. We are receiving excellent cooperation. And it's all government effort. All the departments that have been involved are doing it in a very coordinated manner, including great support from MHA, the state governments are also involved in this evacuation. So it's a very successful uh, effort from the government of India on this front. Some questions also have come uh, with regard to Indians abroad. Now, this is still a situation where we cannot uh, give a, a definite answer because lockdown is still there. We need to assess this situation maybe uh, closer to the date and it will be a government decision uh, in terms of how we manage the return of Indians. But let me assure you all that our ambassadors, our high commissioners in all these countries are in regular touch with the Indians abroad. They are being guided. There are helplines and there are constant interaction with them, giving all support to them. MEA also, as you are aware, we have set up a control room, the COVID control room, where the helplines are active. We have a full team that is taking calls and guiding them uh, in these matters. So, situation is under control, and we will review at a later stage about the return. The third item that has come into focus is about the hydroxyl, hydroxychloroquine, the export of it. As you all are aware, the certain medicine, med medicines were on restricted list, uh, keeping in view the domestic situation and few of them are in the prohibited list. I think this was reviewed over a period of time by the committee of secretaries and the group of ministers also took decision, decisions, keeping in view the domestic requirement, the domestic priorities, and then this were gradually relaxed. So a lot of medicines were lifted, keeping in view the domestic situation, but there is still hydroxychloroquine, which is in high demand globally. But I must bring it to your notice that a lot of requests on hydroxychloroquine are already there. Several countries have made requests for this particular item. And taking into view the domestic necessities and requirements, the domestic stock availability, and keeping a, a sufficient buffer for our own requirement, a decision was taken by the group of ministers to release some of the medicine, surplus medicine, to, for export purposes. So this is again an ongoing process. The first batch of the first list of countries have been approved, and the products have started to leave. 